Hey, hey! How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Terraria Master Ranger playthrough. A dryad in a mushroom biome. Can you figure out what we're going to be doing first thing in today's episode? If you guessed we're going to make ourselves a custom surface mushroom biome, you'd be quite right. Before I start anything, though, I just want to apologize if you can hear banging in the background. I believe what's happening is my neighbor is getting some fence repairs done because we've been having some pretty blustery, nasty weather here in the UK in the form of storms. And yeah, their fence kind of fell over. It's just one of those real life situations you have to deal with, eh, my friend? So, you know, it is what it is. We're still going to have some fun playing some Terraria and getting some stuff done. In this case, we're actually going to go ahead and convert a Sky Island into a mushroom biome. Now, I I know, I know, I've actually done that whole idea before, making a mushroom island out of a floating sky island, but, you know, I just want to kind of get things done in this series at this point. I want to try and wrap up the series, I want to try and move on to some other stuff on this channel. Only, as I'm sure you guys have noticed, my numbers really aren't up to anything anymore, and I need to figure out some new ideas for what we can do going forward. Streaming! is an idea that I have had floating around the old noggin for a fair while now. Only the thing is, my friends, once this Terraria Master Ranger playthrough ends, that is it for Terraria vanilla content up until 1.4.5 comes. Obviously, in the meantime, there's going to be a brand new Calamity series to come. But in terms of vanilla Terraria, I think what we may do is shift our focus away from normal Let's Plays onto maybe some weird and wonderful hardcore challenge runs in the live streams that I'm planning on doing? The thing is, my friends, I've actually had these hardcore challenge ideas for the longest time, but I've always kind of figured that folks on YouTube might not be all that interested in watching them. However, watching them live might be a better way to do things, because of course I can interact with you folks on the go and maybe it'll attract some new viewers here and there. All I do know is that I'm at a pretty pivotal point in my YouTube career where it's genuinely getting to the stage where videos alone is no longer cutting it. So yeah, I genuinely do feel that my future lies with streaming. I'm not going to abandon video making altogether. That is absolutely not what I'm saying and it's not going to be what happens. What I'm saying is I need to start mixing in more live streams here and there. In an ideal world, what I'd like to have happen is I have no more than one video series on each of my channels and then we can have maybe a stream series or just sort of streams in general sort of on top of that mixed in you know so if all of that sort of sounds like your cup of tea or you have any feedback regarding the matter then of course let me know in the comments area down below i'm always interested in reading your guys's feedback regarding the things that i bring up in my video so yeah let me know Alrighty, it's just turned daytime so my hope is that the truffle will spawn in anytime now I certainly hope so anyway, because what I'd like to do, needless to say, is I'd like to make myself some Shroomite armor, and preferably all three helmet types as well. All right, the good news is the background has changed, so it's all sort of mushroomy. So this house here should indeed be worthy for the truffle to move in. I guess we just gotta wait. I think what we could do in the meantime, while we're waiting for the truffle to spawn in, I'm thinking we go mushroom hunting. There are several mushroom biomes I found in this world. There's one down a elevator here. Uh, there's also one over by the shimmer, where the dryad currently is. And there's also one sort of neighboring the dungeon over here. And here's the thing. We could sort of double up, kill two birds with one stone, and we can go grab ourselves some truffle worms. Turns out I was wrong in the last episode as well. I thought the cyborg spawned in after you defeated Gollum, but no, it is actually a post-Plantera NPC. We need to wait for nighttime to roll around, and that'll be the point in which we can start getting ourselves some Rocket 3s. So, we'll have to wait a little bit for that. But yeah, like I say, in the meantime, I think it's truffle worm and glowing mushroom time. Hey, line spores the truffle. Haha. <laughs> we finally got a truffle on our world, folks. That is absolutely fandabatastic. I've just realized something. We don't have a rare creature detector. I would have thought we'd have had a rare creature detector by now, but... No, apparently not. We're doing this the old-fashioned way, folks. We've got to keep our eyes peeled. Yeah, plenty of mushrooms going on for now, though, folks. So, let's see just how many we can get. To be honest with you, though, I don't actually know just how many mushrooms I need. So, um, 
I don't know, I'd say a thousand is a pretty good goal, but I genuinely have no clue how many I'm going to need for all three of the Shroomite helmets. Ah, oh, hey guys, check it out. I've just realized there's a slime statue right there, and gel is something we need for ammo for our flamethrowers and maybe the eventual elf melter. Ah! Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Ah, excellent. There is indeed one of these fellas. Oh, I thought it was about to get killed by that uh, skeleton there. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, got him. That's truffle worm number two. Number three. Fourth truffle worm obtained. And there we go. Five truffle worms gotten the old fashioned way. Just by using our eyes, that is. <laughs> All right, very, very good. Now what we can do is we can go hunt for another mushroom biome. We're actually up to nearly 700 mushrooms. All right, let's see what kind of a supply we can get from the mushroom biome right here. I mean, it's only a small one, so I don't imagine there being a great deal of mushrooms. All right, 815. That's what we're up to now. The final mushroom biome that I know of is this one way over here. It is a big one, but I think what I want to do first is just see what kind of a supply we can get right now. You know what I just realized as well? I could have totally made this into a double house and had a mushroom pylon up there. Ugh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one job at a time, folks. Uncraft the chlorophyte armor. Give us back all of the beautiful chlorophyte bars. We can whip out the remainder of the chlorophyte bars, a whopping 99 of them, with a further 110 that can be made into bars. We've got 121 chlorophyte bars now. That is absolutely mad, isn't it? Right, let's put on the greedy ring and get on with our next job, which is buying Rocket 3s. Look at the damage difference. A whopping 35 damage difference difference between rocket ones and rocket threes that is just mad all right let's see how many we can buy i mean a good amount i would imagine there we are i wish you could get infinite rocket pouches that would be a pretty darn boss if you ask me but yeah there we are we finally have ourselves some good stuff 76 range damage plus a further 90 ranged damage. Oh, that's just mad, isn't it? Does extra damage on a direct hit as well. All right, let's see if we can do this real quick. We're just basically gonna split this into two rooms. It should be relatively straightforward. Skyware door. Let's put down the workbench. A little bit of lighting. And there we have it. This thing should be good, right? Yep, and there we go. Housing is suitable. Do we have any NPCs that are sort of in weird and wonderful places. Yeah, the angler. Although maybe I should figure out what the golden combo is in order to buy ourselves a pylon, eh? Ha! Huh. Apparently the guide and truffle are pretty good together. So we'll just fly away, come back, and what we should be able to do now, there it is. Not only can we get ourselves the mushroom pylon, but there it is, the almighty auto hammer. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful, folks. So, let's get this bad boy placed down. Do I have enough space to put this in here? Yeah, I do. All right, very good. How many Shroomite bars can we make? 54. Shroomite leggings, 18 bars. The chest plate takes 24 bars, which means for now we can only make one out of three of the pieces of headgear. I kind of want to do the specialist range damage one because, I mean, we haven't really used any rocket launcher type weapons in this series yet, and I'm very, very interested to do exactly that. So here we go. 11 defense increases specialist ranged damage by 15%. Specialist defined as launchers dart guns, or anything else that doesn't shoot arrows or bullets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to get ourselves down to this mushroom biome here. Holy crap, look at the amount of damage my rocket launcher does now. Not just that, but a whopping 34% crit chance in non-stealth mode? That's not bad going, if you ask me. Rocket 3s do 101 damage and 29% crit chance. Holy crap, holy, did you just see that? 400 plus damage and that was through a direct hit i think that was imagine how much damage this thing could do against the dookie boy though oh oh that is just gnarly isn't it like seriously here we go let's do it again ah oh look at that 840 crit <laughs> there is one thing that concerns me about this rocket launcher check this out we do damage to ourselves um 
Yeah, that's that's not cool. That's not okay. And I'm dead. Is there a type of rocket launcher type weapon that doesn't do self-inflicted damage? A quick search on the wiki seems to suggest that yes, there are rocket launcher type weapons that don't do self-inflicted damage. Unfortunately, we don't have access to any of them just yet. The Snowman Cannon, Jacko Lantern Launcher, Electrosphere Launcher, Celebration, and Celebration Mark II apparently are all the launchers that don't do self-inflicted damage. So we're definitely going to have to try and get at least one of those weapons. Hey, folks, that would be a good idea, I think. Here we are, folks. Just got to dig on over to the mushroom biome. And here we are. Wonderful. All right, I am sensing a Mario mushroom type outfit. Ah! <laughs> Ah, I caught it. There it is. The mushroom outfit. Of course. It would either be the mushroom outfit or the mushroom minecart. Although, I don't know. There might be some more mushroom chest loot that I don't really know of or can't remember. Not that it matters to us at this point in the game, of course, my friends. <laughs> We're far past the point where I get excited for chest loot. Aside from maybe the piranha gun, but we don't have a jungle key just yet, sadly. Well, if I don't have enough mushrooms to get myself the remainder of the armor that I wanted to make, then yeah, I'd be very, very surprised. All right, very good. 368. That is the number we have rolling for us right about now. Let's see how many of these bad boys we can make. We need 24. Oh, just enough. Wow, I bet I can do that again. I didn't even know the amount I needed, but... <laughs> We got there. There's the headgear. And where's the other one? We just want to make sure we're not accidentally making dupe ones. There we are. Gun damage and bow damage. We now have all bits of Streamite armor. Fantastic. And that means with the remainder of the chlorophyte bars, what we can do is make some chlorophyte bullets. We're not even going to hold back on this, my friends. We're just going to make them all into chlorophyte bullets. Oh, mama. That is a crazy amount of damage. I mean, yeah, I realize I was in stealth mode there, but 451 with the godly sniper rifle, and I don't even have the gun damage buff uh, helmet. If I was to put that on, this would now be 372 and, <laughs> and 519 in stealth. What the hell, man? I think what we need to do is we need to grab ourselves all of these beautiful buffs and then we're gonna head on over to an ocean. We're going to chuck all of this stuff down again and we're gonna try the Dookie Boy, folks. I should mention, by the way, one of the things I have done since the last episode is I did a massive uncrafting and recrafting sesh over at the Shimmer and that has allowed me to get menacing on everything. I have maximum damage in my loadout here. Ranger Emblem, Worm Scarf, Ankh Shield, Master Ninja Gear, Magic Luminescence, the Lightning Boots, and the Harpy Wings, all with menacing. So that is a base level of at least 28% increased damage just from the prefixes alone. So yeah, we may have made ourselves a bit of a juggernaut damage loadout with our Ranger set here. How it's going to fare against the rest of the bosses that exist in this vanilla game here remains to be seen. But yeah, I'm hoping that we'll be able to absolutely ruin the Dookie Boy. A little bit of ammo conservation. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we're just about ready to do this thing. We are going to try the sniper rifle. I don't think I've ever tried to take down the Dookie Boy before with a sniper rifle. And uh, well, as you can see, <laughs> look at that health bar though. Oh, that's a little bit crazy. Oh, it's a little bit crazy. And I love it. I really do. It's going to be the second and third phases where the chlorified bullets are going to come in. A super freaking clutch. Ah, yeah. All right. About to go second phase here, folks. Make that present tense. Here we go. Oh, snappity snap, the snappity snap snappers. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, we got we got friggin' giant tornadoes now. Wait, no, they're still small ones. What am I on about? Ah, here we go. Now the big tornadoes are coming. Ah, ah, you gotta be careful here, folks. Stop! Oh, dodged away from that like an absolute champ. Hell yeah, baby. And again. <laughs> the master ninja gear. You gotta love it, folks. You gotta love- Oh, dear. Gotta love it. 
All right, 20,000 health remaining. Third phase is about to begin. Yikes! Okay, very big yikes. 207 damage that guy just did to me. Oh, man. I think I know how this is going to go, but I'm going to try the rocket launcher next, okay? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting one. Just how many times are we gonna wind up hurting ourselves? Uh, probably a fair amount. Unfortunately, we've just run out of bottles, so we need some glass and or sand blocks or whatever the hell, and we need ourselves a bunch more water bottles. Let's get it done. Goes without saying, the downside of going for a juggernaut damage loadout is a slight lacking of defense. 55 for mid to end hard mode? That's actually a pretty low amount, isn't it? The Dookie Boy has returned. Ooh. Gotta try and keep this guy away from us, if at all possible. Do you know what? Already, I'm sensing this isn't as good as the sniper rifle. I won't lie. Hmm. I don't know. 10,000 health down. I mean, yeah, that's nice and all, but I just... Yeah, I don't know. I think this one's a bit of a yikes, if I'm honest with you folks. If I maybe had a rocket launcher that, oh, I don't know, homed in maybe and didn't hurt me... I don't know, I might enjoy better luck. Ah, the darn fish keep hitting me, dude. Not okay, if I'm being honest with you. One more hit and I am absolutely dead. Ah, oh, come on now. Could we get to third phase at least? Oh, no, it's done. It's done. It's done. Yep, there we go. I got cornered. I got absolutely cornered by a friggin' tornado. <sighs> I'm about to make myself a second platform. I should have done that from the start, let's be honest here, folks. I just wanted to try and... Rush through this boss, if I'm honest. Do you know what? Honestly, I kind of want to go back to the sniper rifle. It did a far better job, I would say. So, there we go. It's back on. 382 damage, 59% crit chance. The crit is what's going to do the damage for us, folks. There's a small part of me that actually wants to go ahead and reforge every single one of these into lucky. That would be a further 28% crit chance. So, what? 59 plus 28? That is uh, 87? That would be insane. That would be almost every single shot is a crit. Like, how mad is that? <laughs> All right, platform number two is being added. Let's get this thing done and dusted, shall we? Dookie Boy is going down today. I cannot not do this. All right, second platform has been added. Ladies and gentlemen, should we just get on with this thing? I think we should. Duke Fish run attempt number three, and I'm hoping for third time lucky. We have ourselves a second platform now, and that should make things considerably easier. So... Let's see what we can do. 754 crit damage, 878. It's those big damage values. That is what is going to keep us in contention here. Like, come on. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, not another one. No. Okay. Ah, I keep getting cornered by the tornadoes, man. It's not ideal. It has to be said. But never mind. We're still doing kind of okay. There's the tornado. Oh, look at that. The platform is literally the very same block above it. I could probably walk on that and still be okay. All right, here we go. Oh, snappity snap snappers. Ladies and gentlemen, this, my friends, is where things are going to start getting a bit dicey. Just got to remember the one, two, three trick. Ah, okay, at three. Okay, resets to one. Then it goes one, two. Come on now. Keep those hits coming in, baby. Ah, what my hit, I'm dead. What my hit, I'm dead. Uh-oh, I've lost my rhythm. One, two. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> we did it, my friends. The sniper rifle. It was enough. I just had to do a slightly better job of preparation. I feel like that's my downfall. I feel like I never, ever prepare enough for these things, you know. But there we are. Case in point, we prepared, we got ourselves a second platform, and we absolutely gave that guy the treatment. Now, if only I could get some rain to happen, then I could put on the shrimpy truffle and use it to get around a lot quicker. But now, though, you know what? I think we're going to go for a couple more dookie boys. I mean, why not? We have two more truffle worms, and we didn't get a range of weapon from that first one. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this thing rolling again. See if we can keep this little streak going. We're currently 
blue one down to the Duke. So this would be the equalizer if I could get it. Oh no! Come on, man! I was nearly at max health then. I just got absolutely wrecked in two to three hits in a row. Oh, mate, that isn't fair at all, bro. Oh, my God. I was in absolute panic mode there. I won't lie. My heart was racing. My eyes were starting to glaze over. You guys ever get that when you're, like, trying to hyper-concentrate on something? You get proper tunnel vision. And then when it starts to not go your way... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> it doesn't feel good, folks. It doesn't. But there we are. At least we brought it back to 3-2 to the Duke. I think in the next episode, we're going to have to at least equalize, eh, my friends? I think what we may be able to do in the next episode, though, I'm thinking we go to the jungle temple. We maybe try to get ourselves a solar tablet. And I'm thinking we try and go for a nail gun. I think that would feel the effects of the specialist range damage, right? I mean, dark guns, nail guns. I'm hoping it all comes under the Shroomite Helmet. I really, really do. Only in the next episode, if we can get that, then I'm going to use it to absolutely destroy Duke Fisher on once and for all and actually bring the score back up in my favor. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think for now, though, it is time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, of course, you're excited to see more. To be sure to drop a like if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!